What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a Lego gun review. This is my Lego scatter gun. It's used by the Scout and Team Fortress 2. And let's get into the building techniques and cool features. First cool feature about this gun is it has a working lever. Using a Technic pin in there to allow it to move. I used this piece over the top to cover it so it allows me to hold it and it's very strong. Next cool thing about this gun is the grip. I built it extremely strong so I can hold the gun with one hand like this. Though I usually would hold it with two hands since the front hand goes up on that uh, grip, but since I'm holding the phone, I can't quite do that. Last feature of this gun is it being able to shell eject, or look like it's ejecting a shell. So this lever here will hit the back of that piece, making it fly forward, like this. That shell ejecting feature can be way more convincing if you do it like this. This gun use, utilizes a lot of building techniques like snot. This panel here is held on by snot. Snot is actually studs not on top, which allows me to put this plate right on the side of the cylinder like that. And I did the exact same for the other side. The barrels were originally going to be built with a snot technique, but then I decided to make them fully out of these tile, these plates, whatever you want to call them. So it's a more rounded look almost. Though it does kind of look like a, um, it's very square with this since it's not rounded. It's not rounded, it has uh, sides like this. Last thing about it, it has a very nice flat um, and rounded sort of uh, front, front grip here. So when I'm holding it, it's comfortable on the front hand like that. And that's it for my first Lego gun review.